By the end of this lesson, you should be able to Describe natural phenomena involving total internal reflection of light. Solve problems involving total internal reflection of light. This man is lost in a hot, scorching desert. Suddenly, the man sees an oasis with swaying palms. When he runs closer, these images disappear. Do you know what these images are called? A mirage. This is what an actual mirage looks like in a desert. This picture of camels was taken in a desert. The camels look like they are walking in a pool of water. Can you guess which physics concept explains the formation of a mirage? Total internal reflection. This concept is also applicable to another natural phenomenon. It is also about seeing an image of something that isn't really there. Can you guess what it is? In the desert, the ground heats up very quickly. The air above the ground also heats up very quickly. Hot air is less dense than cool air. When light travels from the sky downwards, it has to pass several layers of air. Each layer is hotter and less dense than the layer before. What happens to the light ray when it passes into the next layer? The light is refracted away from the normal. What can you say about the incident angle of the ray at the next layer? The incident angle increases at the next layer. In fact, the incident angle increases at every layer. What happens when the incident angle becomes very large? When the incident angle is greater than the critical angle, total internal reflection occurs. The light is completely reflected and now travels upwards. To an observer, this light seems to be coming from below. In this way, an image of the object is formed below the object. This kind of image has a very special name. Do you know what it is? This image is called an inferior mirage. Can you think of any other place where an inferior mirage might be formed? Observe the picture. Where was it taken? Can you see anything odd or strange about the picture? In the Arctic regions, the weather is so cold that icebergs are easily formed. Water has a high heat capacity. It doesn't heat up as quickly as land. The air above the water is colder than the air higher up. Light traveling from the iceberg upwards, it has to pass several layers of air. Each layer is hotter and less dense than the layer before. What happens to the light ray when it passes into the next layer? The light is refracted away from the normal. What can you say about the incident angle of the ray at the next layer? The incident angle increases at the next layer. Once again, the incident angle will increase at every layer. What happens when the incident angle becomes very large? When the incident angle is greater than the critical angle, Total internal reflection occurs. The light is completely reflected and now travels downwards. To an observer, this light seems to be coming from above. In this way, an image of the object is formed above the object. This kind of image is also a mirage. What is it called?
The picture clearly shows superior mirage of an iceberg. If you look at the picture of the sunset carefully, you can actually see another sun below. Can you explain the strange phenomenon? In countries with very cold climates, people sometimes see the sun setting twice. No need to panic. The second sun is actually a superior mirage of the one and only sun. What phenomenon can you see in the picture? Did you know that a rainbow is also partly caused by total internal reflection of light? For a rainbow to occur, the sun has to be shining behind you. At the same time, there must be a drizzle in front of you. Sunlight enters the raindrops and is refracted. White sunlight is made up of seven different colors. Different colors are bent by different amounts and separated. This is called dispersion. These colors will experience total internal reflection at the back of the raindrop. The colors are refracted again when they exit the raindrop. To an observer, these colors will be seen as if coming from behind the raindrops. Let's watch the animation again. In this activity, your group will have to be the first to help Mr. Freddy Fish get his dinner. His dinner is a worm that is hiding behind a rock. To help you on your mission, listen carefully to these clues. Your first clue is that Mr. Fish can only go and get his dinner if he can see it. Secondly, Mr. Fish can see his dinner if the light rays from the worm enters his eyes. Lastly, Mr. Fish must be close to the worm so he can get to it before it gets away. Select a position from the following.